I now call to order the meeting of the Board of Education of Baltimore County for Thursday, December 5th, 2019. This meeting is being held for the election of board chair and vice chair. I invite you to rise and recite the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. We will then remain standing for a moment of silence in recognition of those who have served education in Baltimore County. Thank you. As the board's presiding officer in the absence of an elected chair for the 1920 year, nominations are now open for the office of board chair. Are there any nominations? I recognize Mr. Offerman. I nominate Cheryl Pasteur as for, for chairman of the board. Thank you, Mr. Offerman. No second is required. Ms. Cheryl Pasteur is nominated. Are there further nominations for the office of board chair? Ms. Mack. I nom nominate Kathleen Causey for uh, chair of the board. Thank you, Ms. Mack. No second is required. Are there any further nominations for the office of board chair? Hearing none, as presiding officer, I declare the nominations are now closed. The Education Transparency Act requires that any action of the Baltimore County Board be recorded by a voice vote or roll call vote. Ms. Gover, please call the roll for those voting for Ms. Pastor for the Office of Board Chair. Mr. Offerman? Yes. Mr. King? No. Ms. Pastor? Yes. Mr. Rasheed? Yes. Ms. Hen? No. Ms. Causey? No. Ms. Joe? Yes. Mr. McMillian? Yes. Ms. Mack? No. Ms. Scott? Yes. Ms. Rowe? No. Ms. Gover, would you please give me the number for the votes for Ms. Pasture? Six votes. Thank you. Ms. Pasture has not received sufficient votes to be elected as board chair. Ms. Gover, please call the roll for those voting for Ms. Causey for the office of board chair. Mr. Offerman? No. Yes. Ms. Pasture? No. Mr. Rasheed? No. Ms. Han? Yes. Ms. Causey? Yes. Ms. Joe? No. Mr. McMillian? No. Ms. Mack? Yes. Ms. Scott? No. Ms. Brown? Yes. Ms. Gover, would you please give me the roll, the number, please? Neither of the nominees have received a majority. Therefore, no chair has been elected as required by Section 3-2B-09 of the Education Article of the Annotated Code of Maryland and Board Policy 8210. The board has failed to reach a majority at this time. Although the board has failed to reach a majority, I'm confident that they will. Every member of this board, since my arrival, has provided their support and encouragement to me and my family, and I thank you for that. I would like to ask board counsel, Mr. Nussbaum, to explain for the permanent record the effect of an unsuccessful board chair election on the operations of this board and school system. Mr. Newsbaum. Thank you and good evening. 
As you know, Maryland law pursuant to the Code of Maryland Regulations requires that any action taken by any county board of education in the state must have the concurrence of the majority of the whole board. In Baltimore County, that's 12 members of the board, so a majority of the whole board would be seven, even though there's currently obviously a vacancy on the board. So it would have taken seven votes to elect the chair and to elect the vice chair uh, later on this evening. Um, furthermore, under Maryland common law, because no individual received seven votes, the incumbent chair uh, may remain in office after the expiration of her term and is entitled to exercise the powers of that office until her successor is elected by seven members uh, of the board, as, again, as required by Comar. Therefore, the current chair, uh, Ms. Causey, is considered a holdover uh, office holder and would remain in her position as board chair uh, until such time, if ever, uh, a majority of seven members of the board either vote to re-elect Ms. Causey to a full term uh, or to elect some other uh, individual uh, as chair of the board. Uh, elections will take place again next December uh, as the statute requires uh, with respect to chair at that time. Thank you. Based on Mr. Nussbaum's comments, I am turning the gavel over to Ms. Causey to preside over the election of vice chair. Thank you, Dr. Williams. Nominations are now open for the office of the board vice chair. Are there any nominations? Ms. Jose? Thank you. I would like to nominate Mr. Rod McMillian for the position of vice chair for the Baltimore County School Board. Mr. Rod McMillian is nominated. Are there further nominations for the office of board vice chair? Ms. Mack? I would like to nominate Julie Hen for the, of, for the Office of Vice Chair. Ms. Hen is nominated. Are there further nominations for the Office of Board Vice Chair? Hearing no further nominations, the Chair declares the nominations closed. All those who vote for Mr. Rod McMillian as Vice Chair, please signify by saying yes when the roll is called. Yes. No. Ms. Hatcher? Yes. Mr. Ritchie? Yes. Ms. Hen? No. Ms. Fozzie? No. Ms. Joe? Yes. Mr. McMillian? Yes. Ms. Mack? No. Ms. Scott? Yes. Ms. Rowe? No. Would Ms. Gover please give me the total number? Six votes. Thank you. All those who vote for Ms. Hen as vice chair, please signify by saying yes as the roll is called. Mr. Offerman? No. Mr. Kuhn? Yes. Ms. Pasture? No. Mr. Rishi? No. Ms. Hen? Yes. Ms. Causey? Yes. Ms. Jokes? No. Mr. McMillian? No. Ms. Mack? Yes. Ms. Scott? No. Ms. Rowe? Yes. Ms. Gover, would you please give me the total number for Ms. Hen? Five votes. Given that neither nominee has received a majority of the votes, therefore, Mr. Nussbaum will come forward and explain how the board will proceed. So the same, the same comments I made previously about Maryland law with respect to the chair apply also to the vice chair. Seven votes were needed because seven is the majority of the whole board. Um, no individual received seven votes, uh, and therefore, as, as was the case with Ms. Causey as far as the incumbent chair, uh, so is the case with Ms. Hen as far as the incumbent vice chair, which is that under Maryland common law, uh, the vice chair, the, the, the office holder uh, for vice chair, Ms. Hen, would remain in office uh, after the expiration of her term and is entitled to exercise the, the powers that sh uh, of, of the office of vice chair until her successor. Uh, is elected by seven members of the board, as was the case with, uh, with Ms. Causey. So, thank, you. thank you, Mr. Nussbaum. Having completed the agenda item of special elections, which was the only item on the agenda uh, of our reconvening of this meeting, I now uh, call the meeting adjourned. Thank you all very much. <laughs>